Hi everyone, welcome back to Pause to Read. Today we're going to be reading Macduff Goes to School by Rosemary Wells and Susan Jeffers. I'm excited today because we get to learn a little bit of French together. This is all about a story of Macduff and his new neighbor and their dog who speaks only French. So we get to learn some new dog commands sp spoken in French. So why don't you pull up a chair and let's learn together as we try to pronounce these new words and find a little bit more out about Macduff. A new name was painted on the mailbox at number 9 Elm Road. Marie Antoinette sat among the movers boxes. She kept her eye on Macduff. Woof, said Macduff. Woof, said Marie. Macduff fidgeted up and down on the side of the fence. Marie watched every move Macduff made, but she did not leave her porch. Vian Marie called a voice and Marie trotted inside. Lucy and Fred came out to see what was happening. They're speaking in a foreign language, said Fred. They're going to have to learn English. Lucy brought a peach cobbler over to the Degals. Fred brought a pitcher of lemonade and a Vita biscuit for Marie. Hello, said Lucy. Welcome to the Elm Road, said Fred. This is our dog, Macduff. Bonjour, said Celeste Degal. C'est notre chien Marie, said Marie. Celeste did not want Marie to sit on the sofa. A box, said Celeste. Marie jumped down. Couche-toi, said Celeste. Marie lay down at Celeste's feet. Rest la, Marie, said Celeste, and Marie stayed. Macduff jumped onto the Degal sofa. Marie did not like it. Get down, Macduff, said Lucy. Macduff did not get down. Come here, Macduff, said Fred. Macduff sank deep into the sofa. He needs to go to school, said Fred. Celeste and Marie decided to go to school too. Everyone here will soon heal, sit, stay, and come, said the trainer. Everyone must practice every day. The best one will win a blue ribbon at graduation. But Lucy was too busy with the baby to practice with Macduff. And Fred was too tired after a day's work to practice with Macduff. But every day, Celeste practiced with Marie. A toi said Celeste, and Marie sat. Au pied, said Celeste, and Marie walked at Celeste's heel. Sauté, said Celeste, and Marie jumped up to get a liver truffle. Woof, said Macduff. A toi said Celeste. Macduff sat. Celeste pushed a liver truffle through the fence. Marie performed a toi push toi and au pied perfectly. Very soon, Macduff did too. Macduff is not doing well, said the trainer. He doesn't understand down, stay, or come. He may have DAI, dog attentionitis. It can't be him, said Fred. It must be us. On graduation day, Lucy lined Macduff up with the other dogs. Sit, said Lucy, but she had to push him down. Stay, said Lucy. But Macduff ran to Fred. Disqualified, said the judge. All the dogs did their best, heels, sits, and stays. Marie did figure eights, went over the hurdles, and retrieved the correct rubber toy, all off leash. She won the blue ribbon. Celeste saw Lucy's and Fred's unhappy faces. Bien, shouted Celeste. Macduff raced over the lawn across to Celeste. Assez toi, said Celeste. Macduff sat perfectly square. Au pied, said Celeste, and Macduff followed her step for step. Couchez toi, rest la, said Celeste, and Macduff sank to the ground and did not move a hair. The judge gave Macduff a red ribbon. Celeste made a grand French picnic to celebrate the two winners. Bien, said Lucy. Assez toi, rest la, said Fred. Woof, said Macduff. The end. Thank you so much for joining us to hear about Macduff and how he learns all of these commands in French and how his owners don't understand and they need to learn French as well. Sometimes it's fun to learn different languages and communicate with our neighbors. I hope you have a great day and join us next week.